Hey, I want to do a few things with Garrett's file here. Uh, number one, I want to resize this piece so it can uh, fit to his artboard. And then uh, I just want to do some basic shape tweens, and then that should be it. But first of all, let me figure out this artboard. Um, whenever you look in your properties over here to the right, there's a place where it says size, there's your width and your height. That's what your artboard currently is. If I click on his biggest kind of uh, shape on here, I can also see the width and height of that piece on that right hand side. So it's 536 by 595. Uh, I want to get it to be like that. So 536, 595.9. Okay, so that's the size I need. Now, here's the more tricky part. I need to edit multiple frames and then bring his piece over to our artboard. Uh, you do this by first selecting this edit multiple frames part. So I want you to click on that. And once you click on that edit multiple frames button, you get these sliders at the top of your screen next to your frames. Uh, those are your anchor markers. That just determines which frames you want to choose from that group. There's a little button right next to your Edit Multiple Frames button. It's the Modify Markers button. I want you to click that and then I want you to click Anchor Markers. That just basically will keep them in place so if you accidentally touch something, they'll still be there. Okay, so as far as selecting multiple frames, I want to click in this very top left hand side and then I'm going to hold shift and then click in the very lower right hand side. So I have all these selected. I'm going to get my move tool and then just move it into place. I'm going to zoom in and check. Looks like his hand didn't come along with it. why anyway I'm gonna use my arrow keys to kind of adjust it slightly it's looking good uh, now I'm gonna deselect the edit multiple frames part maybe I'll try to grab his hand just by itself bring this over here I think this is different because it already has a tween on it, so unfortunately I'm going to have to remove the motion tween. And then we'll bring it over here. That's just something that we'll have to redo. Okay. So we have this in place. I'm going to uncheck the edit multiple frames part. And then this should kind of get us in our regular animation. So the next part, I wanted to do a just a shape tween because this shape tween that's working now is, you know, it's kind of interesting, but it's not very painterly. I just want things to kind of emerge out of nothing. So first thing I'm gonna have to do is remove this shape tween. So I want to use this original painting background that he made here. The vector looks really good. Might as well use it. So first thing, all these frames are trash on this side, so I'm going to have to right click on that and remove them. And then this keyframe is left over. It's still good to use. I'm going to rename this background so I know what, I've, what I'm working with. Also, I'm going to lock all of my layers, and then unlock my background painting. Okay, uh, basically, I want to just selectively take bits and pieces of this and have them kind of appear as if you were painting it. So I think I'm going to just kind of get one piece at a time, and I'm going to bring them to different layers so then I can 
individually shape tween them. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that. So I'm going to hit Command X or Control X, and then that will just completely cut it out. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call this you know, Mountain 1. Okay, now with this, I'm going to paste in place. So Command Shift V or Control Shift V. I want to paste it in place so I don't have to position it you know, perfectly every time. Okay, so this is looking okay. Now here's another thing that I want to do with this piece too. It's at 50 frames right now. I'm going to select all of these by clicking on my top one, holding shift, and then clicking on my bottom one. Doing that again. I'm going to unlock these frames because I can't move them unless I do that. And right now I'm holding control, or you can hold command. And once you see that yellow line up here, you can click and hold and then drag that over. I want to bring this to about 200 frames. Okay. Now that I've got that worked out, I want to do my shape tween on this first mountain piece. So I'm going to lock everything again. I'm going to unlock our mountain. And I'm going to hide that background painting just so I can see better. So I'm going to right click on this piece and click Shape Tween. Then I'm going to add a keyframe at the very end. So the deal is I want him to look like he's painting it. So basically I need to have the opacity set for this piece at zero at the beginning and then it's going to slowly kind of fade into, uh, it's going to bring the opacity all the way up to 100. So I have my two keyframes. I think I'm going to just maybe around frame 100. I'm going to bring the opacity that's at 100%. So I'm going to right click, insert a keyframe. Now with this first keyframe, this is the one that I'm actually going to change. So I'm going to affect that by going to my color menu. If you can't find it on your screen, it should be in the window tab and go down to color. I'll bring it back up. And in the animate, uh, they don't call it opacity, they just call it an alpha. Uh, you can see it over here, it's just symbolized by the letter A. But right now, we have this where it's slowly coming into focus. So it's nothing, and then it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. Now here at this very end keyframe, uh, I think I might just keep it like that for now. I'm not really sure how he plans on having this repeat over and over, but uh, if I wanted to, I could set this for you know, zero again, and then it might look like he was wiping it out. So it appears, and then it disappears. If I wanted to make it look like it was going to be there for a while, I could make a keyframe, let's say maybe around 140, insert a keyframe, and then bring the alpha all the way up to 100. So now it's slowly appearing, and then it's there for a while, and then it's slowly disappearing. Okay, so that's just one piece. I'm going to hide. I'm going to unlock that. I'm going to go back to my painting here. And I'm going to select uh, maybe a couple other pieces. I'm just going to select this one. Uh, so I'm going to hit Control X or Command X. And then I'm going to make a new layer. Same process as before. I'm locking layers that I don't need because I don't want to accidentally click on it. And on this new layer, I'm going to hit Control, Shift, and V to paste in place. I'm going to hide my background painting again so I can kind of see the piece I'm working with. I'm going to right click, Shape Tween. I'm going to add a keyframe at the end. Okay, same process. 
round frame 100, I'm going to right click and insert a keyframe. This is where my alpha is going to be set at 100. My first keyframe, I'm going to set this to zero. I've just been using the sliders for it, but uh, you can also just click on that and then enter a zero just manually. I'm going to enter another keyframe here and this will be at 100%. Okay, so those are slowly fading into place. This is where, you know, he could be working his painting hand over that area and maybe it's starting to appear. But I think if he keeps doing that, uh, maybe in different intervals, like maybe there's other parts that are being painted within 40 frames and so on then it might be a realistic way of kind of making that appear. Let's see. Uh, maybe really quick, let's just look at some of these other pieces that he has here. I'm gonna unlock his palette layer, so that's by itself, that's good. I'm gonna right click on this and then just make a classic tween. Wait on the palette hand. I remove this one, right click and remove it. Okay, so I'm working with this palette hand, but I actually want to work with the palette itself too. So I guess I didn't know they were separate. Okay, so I'm going to make classic tween for that as well then. I'm going to make keyframes at the very end. Right click, insert keyframe. And then I'm gonna do just some, maybe some kind of subtle movements. You know, maybe just to make this easier, I'm gonna put these together. So I'm gonna remove this. So I'm gonna right click, remove frames. I'm gonna drag these out all the way to the end by holding control and grabbing that little edge so I can affect that. Now with this palette piece I'm just gonna cut that and I'm gonna bring it up to this top layer and then I'm gonna hit control shift and V or command shift V and then I have this merged with this other layer. I'm gonna right click on this and send this to the back Okay, so this is good. Now they're all together. Okay, and next thing I want to do, since I added that new piece, it's going to affect my tween. So I need to restart that tween. So I'm going to right click on this, remove classic tween. I'm going to remove this frame at the end. And then I'm going to add a new keyframe. Because anytime I do a major change like that, it's going to affect the animation and it's easier just to get kind of a fresh start. So I'm going to right click on this, create a classic tween, and now here's where I can make some subtle movements. I'm going to take this free transform tool and then I'm going to click on this little palette here. Might Can I give him a little rotation? The vector of this palette doesn't have a lot of room to work with, so I don't want to go over the edge and kind of show a broken part. But say that's kind of doing this. You can see that there's a really slow movement where it's going back to this keyframe at the end. I want it to do that because it'll repeat itself after it goes through its whole motion. So this beginning and this end are in the exact same position. Okay, I'm just going to make a few more little adjustments here. And then, okay. Now if I want to get fancy, maybe I could use his hand and make it look like he was kind of dabbing his brush on his palette. Maybe even take a paintbrush and uh, even paint in some color there to make it look like he's mixing it around. Uh, last thing I want to do, 
wasn't really planning on it, but uh, just cleaning up his file here. See how there's all these uh, stair steps? Those aren't really necessary. I know it kind of helps in the beginning uh, so you know where your frames begin and end, but uh, it can make your layers unnecessarily large. So you have too many of them. I'm gonna clean them up just by holding shift at the beginning of your keyframe and clicking the end of the frame and then just simply letting go of all those buttons and then clicking and dragging down. And do this the same with these. So clicking this first frame, holding shift, clicking the last frame. It didn't highlight them all, so I'm gonna keep holding shift and click the first one again. Same thing here, click, hold shift, last frame. Hold shift. Now I'm consolidating my layers. Holding shift, dragging up. Okay, so this is starting to come together. Now I want to delete these layers so I can do the same thing selecting multiple items. I can hold shift, click on my first layer that I want to get rid of, and then click on my last layer. They all become highlighted. Now I can right click and delete layers. Same thing here, click this one, hold shift, click the bottom one, right click and delete layers. And then this is the old palette hand that we don't need anymore. And this is what we have so far. Okay. Uh, I can see after a while, uh, maybe having some of these motion tween or the uh, shape tweens kind of staggered out. I think this could kind of turn into something pretty interesting. I think uh, he had talked about having a squirrel come out of his pocket. Uh, I suggested maybe doing a little frame-by-frame frame animation. Maybe it kind of runs up here, maybe down his arm. Uh, I mean, options are endless. Anyway, I hope this helps.